Yo, what's going on people? In this video, I will show you how to get weapon modifications and armor modifications. First of all guys, I want to show you what are temporary mods. So here we have armor modifications, right? This one is 9 star steel, 8 star cotton and 8 star chain. As you can see, upgrade progress is 500 out of 25,600. So you can put 1 star mod in it to make a temporary level 10 for 30 minutes. So if you click add parts, it will cost you 100 cash, as shown here. If you click add parts, you will add 100 points to the upgrade progress of your modification and it will turn one level higher for 30 minutes. So if you add more, you know, it says here, number of filling parts. If you add 6, it will still stay 10, but the effective time will increase. As you can see, one star is 30 minutes. I add one more, it's gonna be one hour. If I add another one, it's gonna be one hour 30, another one, two hours, and so on and so on. You can of course add 2 star, 2 star will be 1 hour. So to get higher than temporary level 10, you have to make the modification level 10. And when you temporary upgrade the modification of level 10, it will become temporary level 11. Temporary upgrading starts from level 7 mod. Temporary upgrading does not work on level 6 star mods, so you have to have a level 7 modification. The reason why modifications are really crucial in this game is because, well now you can see that you can make temporary mods. And if you're struggling in PvP, that's probably why you're losing it, because your modifications are low. The first simple way on how to get weapon and armor modifications is going daily shop as known as mall and going to daily offer buying the modifications there like this going to have shop scrolling down and if you're a pay to win player you can of course spend a 200 fed credits every day to buy these two and then of course 20k gold daily and buy these mods as so now that's it you cannot get more mods from daily shop it's all sold out but on weekends on saturday you will be able to buy weapon modifications for 10k gold and save 6k gold that offer is extremely worth it modifications can be bought from weapon shop in camp and armor shop julie wang sells it two per day and costs 6k cash armor shop also the same concept, two armor modifications for 6k cash. Next up, Acer, the dude where you exchange your Nancy points after winning Nancy matches, you buy two weapon mods for 800 points and you buy two armor mods for 800 points, that's 1.6k points per day. Make sure to complete two Nancy matches on victory so you get 500 points and make sure to complete all tasks so you get 900 points. Next way to get weapon modifications is completing the fourth box of daily. You can either choose level 1 armor or level 1 weapon. Choose the one that you need and the one that you're missing out. Don't just go weapon mods, weapon mods, weapon mods. You also want to have damage reduction then doing damage because if you can do damage but die easily then there's no point. But yeah, make sure your modifications are balanced out. I am missing a lot of armor so I need armor modifications. You can also get modifications by clicking on benefits and then just using the 30 day sign in. You just click on these boxes right here every day and then once you click 5 times like this, here on the right side it says sign in 4 out of 5. And here are the rewards. You can either get modifications, or you can get formula shards, or you can get the worst out of all skill points. If I claim one now, and as you can see, this one sign in is now available. And if you click enable, you get a reward. RNG reward, so it's not guaranteed that you will get a modification reward. I get adrenaline. Not so bad, better than skill points. Another way to get weapon and armor modifications is the limited 7 day infection event. This is what I'm talking about. So there's memorial coins that you obtain by doing specific things across maps, donating to NPCs, donating materials, rescuing refugees, killing zombies, killing infected mutants and blah blah blah. Last event there was the invasion that everyone really disliked but now here's the infection. If this event is available, you click on this button right over here next to the newbie button and click resistance storehouse. Here you can see 40 memorial coins per one modification and 1000 cash. You can buy two of those per day and pretty much exchange both of those. I advise to buy only modifications from this and you will need 160 memorial coins every day. Make sure to cash out your memorial coins either on formula shards if you want to or you can also buy adrenaline injections. 
If the day is about to end, you can of course buy the formula shard. This event lasts one week, so make sure you spend your coins before it ends. Because if you don't spend the coins, these coins will be turned into cash. So I have 1026 coins that will be turned into 30,000 cash if you don't spend the coins. It will be automatically turned. The next way to get modifications is training. There's always a limited event that shows. There's always a limited event that will appear. Basically these events that appear after a certain amount of time and if you go to market here you will find these training certs. These are the tickets that you buy the stuff from this events market. So you can either buy tactile fenders, you can either buy this, bulletproof, but what we want is weapon modifications and gun modifications. Sadly they're not here in this current event. But most of the time if there's no modifications there will be shards. If there's no shards there will be weapon and armor modifications. But again there's none in this event, so we'll have to wait for the next event. Finishing transport supplies, which appear starting from 11 game time till 14 and from 17 till 20. So you can do two transports per day and that is two boxes. If you're doing common supplies, don't do common supplies ever because you cannot get weapon and armor modifications from those. Don't do rare because you cannot get armor modifications from it. But if you do precious, you can get mechanical and armor modifications. And always make sure to do the, so always make sure to do the precious difficulty on transport. Next up there's the weekend packs that you get for completing Rachel's and next up there's the weekend packs that you get for completing Rachel's or Billy's quests on Saturday and Sunday. And if you open one box, you have a chance to get weapon modifications. As you can see, I got skill points. If you try to open it again, you get either that, open it again, we get skill points really bad luck we get skill points we open it again and we get skill points and if you open it again we get alley drill bit so as you can see not really a high chance to get weapon or armor modifications but you still have a chance and as always i'm just getting skill points because i'm really unlucky in this game new dollars that's great but not a single weapon modification polymer coatings is great when you get it I think it's even better than modifications because one polymer is like 4,000 gold. And of course those boxes that I've opened, you can also get those by completing the Aerial Ace on weekends which is at Saturdays and Sundays. So if you complete two of those, you will get two boxes and you're eligible to get the weapon and armor mods from it. Of course, not 100%. Lastly, the most crucial one is maxing out the Hope 101 NPCs and the Desert NPCs. I have a video about that and it will be linked in this video. Make sure to check that out. So this is how my mods are looking guys. I have a 8 star cotton, 8 star chain, 9 star steel, but as you can see this is temporary 10. That's why the star is a little bit bigger and it has a little bit of a color. You can dismantle modifications in the repair station but when you dismantle them you won't be able to add these modifications that you get back to the temporary experience bar meaning the only thing that you will be able to do is combine these modifications and upgrade the modification to the next level but temporarily you won't be able to use this so be cautious guys don't dismantle your mods because the ones that you get from dismantling won't be able to be added like this anymore as you can see so just know and be careful but of course if you screw up let's say you have level 3 steel layer and you have level 10 chain layer you of course want to have a level 7 steel level 7 chain level 7 cotton but not level 2 steel level 10 chain and level 2 cotton you want to have even amount that's because steel gives you one armor per level and gives you critical immunity per level. Cotton gives you health and it gives you critical immunity. Chain reduces damage and gives you some HP. So you can dismantle the actual attachments and if you combine a mod and you get, let's say you have a level 2 star and you screwed up, you don't want that, all you can do is just dismantle this modification just like this. As you can see, level 1 mechanical parts, we get those mechanical parts back. But as I said, if you dismantle it from the steel layer, you will get modifications on a timer. So you won't be able to add it in temporary slots. Anyways guys, hope this video helps. Make sure to comment down below what other videos you want to see. I will consider your idea and probably make a video out of it. Lately my upload's been very slow, apologies for that. But yeah, make sure to leave a like on this video guys, make sure to leave some feedback in the comment section. Have a great day guys and I'll see you next time, peace out.